there, my lovely legionnaires. Welcome, welcome. Thank you for the new follow. I'm trying not to be so eepy sleepy, but I'm always eepy sleepy. down there we go <sighs> how are we all doing today oh my goodness digital sketch thank you for the resub Appreciate that immensely. Let me pull up my references. All right. Oh, you mean. <laughs> yeah. Hi. Hi. figured since I knew what I was doing for since I knew what I was doing this time I could prep uh Gengar's sketch a little bit. He's so silly goofy. He's a trash man. He throws garbage all over the ring. <laughs> the also pulled up some references for uh for the funny lamp. Overall for Gengar. I remember, I remember. I'm so heating. How are you doing? Doing okay. I'm a little tired. Yeah. I've been doing um the the tough part with the way that things are at the given minute is that because I don't really have a lot of backlogs of stuff, now that the new year started, I've I, I kinda had to hit the ground running. So I haven't had a whole lot of free time since the new year. You know, it makes sense. I've been... So I've been working. I've been grinding, chat. Ugh. Yeah. How do I sub... <laughs> Uh, are you on desktop or mobile? There should be a button that says subscribe. Oh, good. Uh, yeah, so I can tell you how to do it. Boop, boop, boop. The step one is to break that soldier. Step one is- oh god, to not knock my shit over. I want you to know that I've- I've if you doing the uh if you click if you click the like the down arrow then it gives you the other option to to sub and I want you to know I've been occasionally doing the I've got a Glock in my Rory. I've Mario. got a Glock in my Rory, Mario. Just, 
incredibly funny. Hello, Hello Ontario. Ontario. Hey. Hello, Aether. Aether, is EP sleepy today? No, I'm fucking sick as a dog. Oh, you too? I've been up since 2 a.m. dretching. Oh, Aether. <laughs> no, not not the COVID, is it? No. I don't know. Justin's also sick. No. Well, it's the post-holiday bugs that was around. It's true. Yeah, scandalous. <laughs> Make sure it's a tear three from. <laughs> No, no, we don't get winter here. We get the windy season. We have nine months of summer, and then the windy season, and then back to summer. That's right, Aether lives on Mars. Yeah. I'll live. Blech. Fucking big relatable content. I have water with electrolytes, I'll live. I'm trying to get a bunch of stuff together to to start doing some of the things I said I would do in the new year. There's a new show I want to do here. Already talking to our to our dearest bluest goo about getting a new set made. Mm -hmm. I'm a little nervous about it, because it's a little cringe, but... About asking Blue Pain for another set? No, about uh, the thing in question, the thing I'm asking Blue for the set for. <laughs> no, asking Blue for... No, you know what? I take that back. Asking Blue for art. Asking Blue for art's cringe. <laughs> Why? <laughs> no, the, the thing in question that I'm doing is a little cringe. But then he said asking blue for art is cringe. What what is what he was doing a, a joke, a jest, if you will. It was, it was a bit um, Be cringe bit free beaten. Yeah, well. I listen, I worry about these things. I had a I had a fucking moment, so uh I don't know if you if this is common knowledge if you're not a YouTuber, if you do not make the content. Um but I uh specifically on the YouTube Studio app, I don't know if it does this otherwise, but I don't check the analytics on my desktop only on the app. Uh it'll occasionally give you like Gives you, like, your weekly stats, etc, etc. And I try not to look at those, because they make me sad. Uh, mm -hmm. But... Uh, I got one that was, like... Uh, how your shorts are doing. And I'm like, well, I have been trying to... Follow some various different creators' advice and try to start making more shorts. I don't know if you've noticed that on uh, YouTube, but I have been. I was told to make more shorts, to untick them to send to subscribers, because that's not what my subscribers are there for. So I did. Listen. I try so hard not to put too much stock in numbers. Because, like, it's not good for you to do that. It's not healthy, even. 
this week I got 10 times more viewers average than I do for my long form content. Y yippee. <sighs> Listen. I, yeah, yippee. It's, I mean, it's good. But like, oh man. <laughs> It's one of those things that's like, it's ul ultimately is that good? Yeah. Yeah, it is. Like, I'm, you know, it's new eyes are new eyes and that's good shit, but like. <sighs> Fuck, you know? <sighs> but I'm gonna try and do two th things i'm putting two things together right now well i'm putting a couple of things together but the two things i'm currently working on um are i'm working on shorts there's a fucking whole tab to play random shorts on youtube mobile app well yeah i know that because that's what i do so it's not like, that's what I mean, it's like, it's not a bad thing. I'm glad that my shorts are helping me get traction. I'm, I'm happy about it. You just see it dwarf your normal content and for a little while that's gonna sting, but it is what it is. Um. I'm also a weird pessimist, so like, ignore me. That That's good news, I'm just... I can find the rain cloud in any silver lining. Uh. But. Uh. What was I saying? Oh yeah, I'm working on. Uh, there was one thing that I was going to do before the end of the year, which was that dice collection video. Um. I'm gonna try and finish the scripting on that, so that way that can get uh, recorded and put up. Then the goal after that... I have a long-form art project video that I'm gonna try and finish. Um... And I have... People have been requesting me to make... OC-focused videos for a while, so I'm going to give that a try again. Jameth and Porter, I'm going to punt you into the sun. <laughs> it is a little cold for shorts. But again, I'm nervous about it. It's... I don't know. I'm just... I've been trying really hard to not let my shitty brain take so much control over the things that I do with my shit, but it's harsh. Damn, the brain got hands. My brain do in fact got hands. Miss Gremlin's Christmas- No! Candle. We talked about this! <laughs> We discussed this! Gremlins is not a Christmas movie! Mayonnaise is not a Christmas movie either. Die Hard isn't a Christmas movie either.
Listen, just because it takes place on Christmas does not make it a Christmas movie. Exactly. I'm gonna start fucking muting and timing you fuckers out. I can't handle this anymore. <laughs> You fucking goobers are pushing my buttons on purpose. Thanks, Realm. Okay. This may be looking particularly simple now, but just wait. This fit's gonna go a direction in a second. I was not expecting uh, the current outcome of the poll, by the way. So I, I put together a poll for the first character that you guys wanted to, like, interact with for this little fun series that I'm going to be doing. Uh, I did not expect a fan character to get so high, and I super didn't expect of the choices I gave for it to be Meg that was the currently most desired one. No, oh, I love Meg. I just think she's neat. The samurai? You mean Akari? I also like Akari. I've been playing her for damn near four years, I'd hope I liked her. No, longer, actually, now that I think about it. Closer in the ballpark? Christ, I've just realized I've been playing that character for six years. Yeah. Did you know that time is yeah. soup? I just like, did you know that time? Were you aware? Yeah. No, a lot of the people in the collaboratory uh, found out that my lungs were broken the other day. Your lungs are broken? They just don't work well. Like, at all. Like- That's what happens when you spend 25 years with smokers. Like, chronically? Yeah. My lungs are a little fucked up. That's why it's a funny bit whenever Crafty tells me to breathe and I go, NO! Like, how- like, how so? Uh, well, do, you have, this way. do you have emphysema? I don't know. <laughs> you think I'm a VTuber? You think I can afford health insurance? Damn, you're so right. Forget I asked. Here we go. Mm. Mm. Sorry. So. Then I want you to know that if I log onto YouTube one day and Markiplier says he's quitting, I'm going to cry. I think we all would. he'd be quitting anytime soon in fairness true i just i thought about it like with matt pat leaving mm 
And he's like, yeah, I have a child. And I'm like, fuck, that's right. I saw my, uh, one of my fucking favorite bits on TikTok. Somebody was talking about that, and it was the, where's Rick? Don't care. Where's Rick? And it was, where's Mark? Mark, is Mark okay? Is he alright? He's making a movie. But yeah, he uploaded, he did Shotgun Roulette just the other day. Which that game is so cool. Buckshot Roulette is such an interesting game. Mm-hmm. I watched somebody do it uh, hitless. They didn't take a single point of damage. It only took them 300 attempts. Jesus. Yeah. Yeah, I bet, huh? Oh. Goodbye. Um. Just... No, I know. I'm yeah. just I'm just messing around. <laughs> Brooke's gonna talk to a friend downstairs, so she's closing the door. Fair enough. Damn, I can't believe Brooke's ditching you. Brooke has more friends than just me. No, I can't believe Brooke's ditching you. <laughs> F. <gasps> What? Yeah, there we go. There's funny chandelier. And now we turn her transparency up. Lecephalon. I do too. Funny clown. Funny clown. I can't wait to see said funny clown on Sunday. What's on Sunday? Art of Disneyland. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. So some marks the return of the Geek Wizard. Yes, I totally remembered. Which also means that I have to somehow wake Jester up in time. Yeah, we're gonna get that big lady who insulted wife. She was mean, so therefore she must die. Ontario returns to us! Oh, um, oh Ontario. Where did you go? I had to go get the mail. Oh. Fair enough. Time we get to line the funny lamp. Hello, Realm. Hello. <laughs> hey, Realm. Yeah. What what's the Meganium doing in OU tier? <laughs> <laughs> um, that's because when a Pokemon gets introduced into a generation, every single Pokemon added gets put into OU temporarily for playtesting. I know. I just think it's funny. So I think it's funny what's too. doing in OU. <laughs> <laughs> what the dog doing? Did I send you the one about uh, the the a team that's Yu Yu legal? Um, I don't think Hang you on. did. Listen, I'm my brain is soup. Okay, yeah. Uh. This and that one. Your realm. Okay. That. Hmm. 
Listen, if you looked me in the eyes and told me that heat tram was you, you, I think I'd cry. Yeah. <laughs> this team in you, you feels like an invasive species that's going to displace the local wildlife. <laughs> If, if you looked me dead in my eyes and told me that Heatran and Garchomp were gonna be you, you legal. Yeah. Gen 9 is weird. Also, yep. my Danica, my brain is made of soup. You are at soup. I am at soup. There's more soup. What do you mean there's more soup? There's just more soup. Well, then go to the next aisle. All right, you don't have to shout at me. It's just more soup. What do you mean there's more soup? It's only soup. Where, Where are you right now? I'm at the soup store. Why are you buying clothes at the soup store? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the most tired fuck you I've ever heard. <laughs> there you go, Realm. Realm, this yeah. one goes out to you. Okay. I don't mind if I fucking, uh, cosmic power. Yeah. <laughs> and, and, and you know what? We have an inside joke where uh, we can blame TP for this. Why? What did TP do to cause the existence of Martin and his stupid fucking soul rock? So, in Pokemon <laughs> XD Gale of Darkness, uh, <sighs> TP. TP had a strategy involving a Sol Rock where he just spammed cosmic power and he managed to beat the game doing that. <sighs> so they learned from him. TP, I'm going to find you. <laughs> I learned it from watching you, TP. <laughs> I learned it from watching you, all right? I just... That drove me insane, because when I was doing, like, max raid battles and stuff, uh, by myself, uh, just to, like, get some materials and shit, and I would see that stupid fucking rock. Why are you cosmic powering? Stop. Like, Martin, what are you doing? My best. My best. No, no, it's not. Pepperoni on a pony. I learned that if you cut a sandwich diagonally... <laughs> Not again! <laughs> no, no, this is a safe space for the sandwich truthers. It is a safe space. It's the origin of the bit. <laughs> Listen, if, if I do anything in my lifetime, I hope it's that I spread the bit about sandwich math. I hope that that's it, the bit. It's yeehaw time. I hope that that becomes my, uh, do you Your want legacy. unlimited games? Yes. <laughs> okay, Ellie. Google, set Ellie. a timer for two minutes. Would you like unlimited bacon, but no video games or games? Unlimited games. But no games. But okay. <laughs> Ellie Can't chose no play. games. <laughs> yeah, Can't believe it. We aren't here to play. Okay, I can actually hear people. Holy shit. Anyway. Uh, hi, Hello, Ellie. 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 Wow. Thanks for acting like you care. You guys, <laughs> like you, you guys are talking to me like you don't even want to fucking see me. No, we already. <laughs> we just already welcomed you, Zal. Well, no I, Daedalus. I came in to the call and then everyone was like, eh, ooh, eh, uh, ooh, eh. I was like, oh, that's me. <laughs> no, that's just what we were doing. Yeah. Oh, well, it wouldn't be the first time somebody was pranking me. On a stream. On a stream. Be the first time. Stream. My mom hates that I say that. <laughs> and sometimes she, she, some, she's, she likes to call me before, like, what, before I took my break. She uh she called me, and she's like, "What are you streaming today?" And I wanted to tell her, and I was like, "All right, mom, it's it's time for me to stream." And she's like, "Honey, you're 24. Stop saying shit like that." No. 
Don't tell me no, how to let me. I want whimsy in my life, mother. God damn it. Let me be funny. No. Listen, I love the people that are like, why are you saying EP? You're a 25 year old man. I said, and sometimes I'd be getting a little EP. Sometimes yeah, Gavin. Gavin. Little EP Davy. Gavin. It's so funny when you live with somebody for long enough, like specifically as like a romantic partner. It's so funny when they start saying your shit. What the fuck did I just? Okay, Google. Stop. 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 No. I, uh, I. I. Somebody <laughs> What was it? Um, so, you know, whenever I'm like, I, I, I don't know when, when or why this started, but I don't know if you've noticed that if I'm like, if I'm in the middle of talking about something and I can't quite remember, like, the details of something, I'll say, who's it, what's it? Mm -hmm. Well, Gavin started doing that yesterday and he's like, oh, fuck. <laughs> I learned it from watching you. I learned it from what's watching it? you, Dad. Listen, my, my 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 very best friend on this planet, Valhalla, got me to start saying oh. 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 Welcome to being Midwestern. Yeah. But it's, quite, it's just oh. Sorry, Gavin said this. Was, Gavin, Gavin, I think said. Well, was was it was it Gavin or was it somebody else? Somebody I knew said. Queer most sexual one time and it's stuck in my head ever since. I'm a big fan of queer most sexual. Queer most sexual is really good. I think it was. It might have. I don't know. It might have been Gavin. It's like he. He was making fun of homophobes and he was like, "I don't like them queer most sexual." I listened to My Chemical Romance one time, Danica. <laughs> Apparently, Danica's well, I mean, mom, mom uh, mm. has called me uh, the galaxy guy with the emo hair. I don't know. Nobody has a side braid and, like, is not emo. I mean... <laughs> I don't know. That side braid. It's either that or you're like a... You're like a... Uh, I guess in this case, it would be an anime parent that's about to die. <laughs> well, I already died once. <laughs> What's the second time? Relatable <laughs> What's the, the second time? Uh, payment. What's the second time? Well, you'd be in an isekai. Um, yeah. Uh, are you, no, you, you understand. This is my isekai. I got isekai here. That's what I mean. You're in an isekai. This is this this is your isekai. Damn, I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> Man, it sucks because I don't like isekai. As per my Meet the Artist, I finally made this year. I like the idea of isekai, but it's just all of them feel exactly the same. I've seen a more couple of they all are exactly the same. <laughs> I think the problem with isekai is when they always just go by, like, old JRPG rules and not make up, like, lore or world. Like, stuff like Overlord or other series do it more creatively. Things uh, I never thought uh, I'd find yeah. myself saying. Mushoku Tensei does a really good job of that. It's partly why I like it so much. Uh, oh, from Danica. Danica. Oh. Uh, were you gonna talk about the fucking heat antlers too? Yeah, yeah. Apparently, uh, Danica's mom thinks that the eyes on your antlers are in fact fruit. I mean, you could eat them if you wanted to. I wouldn't recommend it, but you could. Yeah, it doesn't seem like a good idea. However, comma. Uh... Oh, uh, beat and beat through. Uh, yes, belly bow belly. Uh, so I already asked Twitter this, which you should not call my Twitter. Uh, I asked Twitter this. Mm -hmm. And I'm 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 getting answers from multiple different people. So Aether, yes, I know you did answer it, but I'm also getting it from Heaton because Heaton also face tracks. Mm -hmm. uh, do you recommend a face like a webcam or a phone? Uh, having used both, I recommend your phone. Um, phone. It has just better. An iPhone just has objectively like the best face tracking on the market. Mm -hmm. Like I said, I get by perfectly fine, but that's mostly because I use my phone with an app to act as my stream deck. Yeah, mm -hmm. a, a webcam, like, won't steer you wrong. Like, you're mm -hmm. you're not going to be, like, fucked if you use uh, a I webcam. I have a webcam. Yeah, if you, if you use here. a webcam, you're fine. It's just I would recommend a, a phone. 
Mm -hmm. I would recommend fawn. Okay. Fawn. I again, I'm getting I'm getting a bunch of stuff from all of my VTuber friends. Uh, I'm conducting a study just to see what I get the most answers for. And so far, I've gotten more people for iPhone. Mm -hmm. So I'm like, okay, we'll see how this goes. I, I've heard pre, I, I've heard pretty much the same thing. Like face cam, like webcams aren't bad. Uh, iPhones are just a bit more versatile because I have mine hooked up to a uh, USB. Mm -hmm, same. Mm -hmm. And I got a. Well, the problem is, <laughs> is that my um, webcam would sit on top of my monitor, and my monitor is uh, very, very, very big. And I'm not very eye level with it. My Do not encourage my mother to big. eat the eyes. Again, like uh, I said, you shouldn't, but I guess you could if you were so inclined. Do is that how want... people make packs? Is that how people make packs with you? No, you have to sign the contract in either uh, blood, cerebro, spinal fluid, or preferably your aqueous humor. But most people pick yeah, blood. But like, I don't know. I think it's. I think it'd be like a whole like. Persephone and the pomegranate situation. Yeah, that's not my shit though. I know. I'm not saying that you should change it. I just thought it'd be. I thought it'd be funny. It'd be a whole. That'd be a really hell of a prank, bro. It's true. That's underworld shit though. People get me confused. Yeah. People keep assuming I'm a demon anyway. Yeah. Well. I mean. I mean. Then fucking I shut up. <laughs> I you I not... uh I I showed Gavin your um your model when I was working on the thumbnail for uh, the fans stream. Mm -hmm. And he was like, do they, do they, they, they play D and D. And I was like, yeah. Was like, Oh, okay. They look like somebody who'd play D and D. <laughs> I want him jokingly be like, what the fuck does that mean? But he's right. So like, I don't, <laughs> <laughs> what an, I didn't know if you wanted to be like, what the fuck does that mean? <laughs> that fucking clip. How dare you be right? No, I was gonna yeah. be like, I was gonna play up my indignation, but no, he's right. I do. <laughs> I do look like somebody who plays. Uh, I, thought gonna, I thought you were referencing the TikTok audio, where it's like you look like a guy who who does. You, blah, blah, blah. What's the fuck that supposed to mean? You look like a sprinkles guy. What the fuck does that mean? <laughs> <laughs> no, I. Uh oh. My brain fogged. Uh oh. <laughs> you really like that, same days. That is not a good sign. Well, no, I had a really rough morning. I'm seeing. I had such a rough morning. I'm seeing a psychiatrist in two weeks. Relatable. That's how bad my morning oh. went. Relatable content. Oh. <laughs> yeah. I'm starting to see a psychiatrist and potentially getting on more medication. Hey, listen. Uh, as somebody who's currently been going through it the past couple of weeks, same. I feel you as someone who's been dealing with their depression more and more. Believe my it. brain, my... huh? My brain made a soup. No, my, my. I was on the phone with my mom this morning, and like we were just talking about shit. She's like, "Honey, you, you need to get on anxiety medication." And I'm like, "No, I'm cool. I'm awesome." And she's like, "Honey, you haven't been cool and awesome for twenty years." Damn. <laughs> Ouch. It's like, what the fuck? I mean, me for real, so but. Listen, you're, you're like, listen, cool and awesome, but you should definitely get on SSRI. <laughs> you need to get on medication. Birth control is not doing it for you. It's helping your hormone hormones. Not enough. It is helping your hormones. Your hormones. Sorry. Oh, you want? Is she a princess or a superhero? And I had to respond. Yeah. Yay. I, you know, I gotta say, that's the first time somebody's called a uh, paint spotter a princess. I'll give, I'll, I, I gotta give it to her. You do have princess I think it's vibes. Too, too. I love it's... that I have princess vibes. I'm surprised that nobody said that sooner. I mean, I joked when I first saw your design that it was like very much based on like Professor Princess from Transformers Animated. Okay, well, I'm sorry. I'm autistic. I'm not that autistic. <laughs> not this branch. Well, no. You know what? No, that's that's not fair. Okay. Um. I'm not a stinky boy who likes robot stuff. Beep boop beep boop. <laughs> no. I don't know. I not a fucking I battery so liquor like Ben. Listen. <laughs> I tried to watch Transformers a lot as a kid. Um, for a few reasons, because I'm a filthy boy kisser. And um 
it was well because it was back when i was in elementary school so gavin and i hadn't met yet and there was this boy that i really liked and like he was like oh his whole thing was transformers transformers and i think it was probably dragon ball i can't quite remember but it was transformers was like a big one for him like i remember i was invited to his birthday and he had like a whole transformers thing it was a whole thing and so i do what i do best is when my when my friends or when people i care about or really really like are interested in something i try to get into that thing mm -hmm. and i i couldn't i it was around the time that the michael bay movies just came out like the first movie came out oh no and he really liked that movie so i was like okay well my dad owns that movie on dvd so fuck it why not and i'm I so tried sorry I tried watching and I was like, that is the most boring thing I've ever seen in my life. And I just, I couldn't do it. It's it better uh... than that. There are better series we could recommend to you. I I don't doubt that, but also you have to understand just robot stuff in general isn't my vibe. Why are you, nope. why would you guys be afraid to say that I had princess vibes? What? I, that's literally my brand. <laughs> why would I? I would prefer that you say princess versus Splatoon vibes. <laughs> my brand. My brand. Ah, my brand. My brand. My brand. No, I. Disney princess vibes? No. Uh, <laughs> I'm not. I refuse to be adorkable. Thank you. I'm simply adorable. I wonder regularly if I am sufficiently spooky enough. Being spooky I'm is a mindset. Just it's just here. like it's just like being poor. <laughs> being... <laughs> what? Damn! Damn! Being spooky wow. is a mindset, just like being poor. <laughs> wow. Yeah. No. 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 Listen. Listen. He made you look. I need you to look me in the eyes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Being poor is a mindset. Okay. Mm -hmm. We are broke. Mm -hmm. As the great Dave Chappelle once said, being poor is a mindset. You are broke. <laughs> <laughs> that is one of the best bits I've ever heard from the Dave Chappelle bit. And this is old stuff before he was transphobic, so. I feel okay with listening to that. <laughs> no, I... It was, it was that, and then... Like Gavin was, Gavin likes X Men, right? He loves mm -hmm. X Men, X Men. Yeah, the one, <laughs> the one. Woo. I don't know how that just came the one. out. I don't know why it came out like that. Well, because so Gavin really likes the X Men, and he, I think Logan was about to come out at the time. Mm -hmm. Maybe it might have been right, it might have been before. I don't remember. The old man Logan was becoming a movie. That's all we knew about. Mm -hmm. And, um, I had never seen the the original like two thousands X Men movies before. They're okay. And I... Funny thing about Paint Splatter and X-Men, the, the 2000s X-Men movies, those are surprisingly tangentially linked. I'll get to that later. <laughs> but, like, he, um, he was like, he's really getting back into X-Men because of Old Man Logan becoming a movie. Mm -hmm. And I was like, okay. Gavin really likes this thing. I've never seen this thing, but I have access to watch this thing because my dad had the DVDs. I was like, okay. I'm gonna watch these movies. I liked the first one, second one was, and the third one was, eh. yeah, they're all right. <laughs> they're okay. I liked the first one. Um, I was, and then I, it sucks because I really did like X Men Origins Wolverine because I heard that Gambit was in it, and I, I saw one clip of Gambit from the animated series and I was like, <laughs> so, and then I saw him without the head, the, like, the head thing, I was pissed. <laughs> without his tiara. I love his tiara. I love it. Gavin hates it. I love it. I think the head thing is really cool. And it was, and also he didn't have, like, red eyes. And I was like, what the fuck? And, and then was, they... Like, after watching X-Men or... And then they ruined Deadpool in that movie. <laughs> they yes, showed us that, Well, and I think... Yeah, Deadpool was out at the time. Um, yeah, I was way out. That was like, that was like a, a freshman in high school when Deadpool, uh, came out. Um, but no, I just, man, I really tried 
to like X Men Origins because like the first like fifteen minutes are really good, and after that it's just not. And I really tried liking it. I really tried to like it. Understandable. Have a nice day. And then, so the whole thing with Paint Splatter, right? So I was, I was actually rewatching the two thousands, um, the first movie. Or it was, a, I think, it was the first two movies because it was on VR chat, and I was like, I'm gonna plop myself into a random room, and I'm gonna watch it, go into one of the movie theaters, and just watch a fucking movie while I draw. Because I, I've done that before. I do that often, actually. And I was like in there, and I was like, I kept looking at them, and I'm like, why? Am I getting annoyed watching this movie? Like, nothing necessarily is happening except when Rose is on screen. But that's because she's not girly pop enough in the movies. She's not. She's so, she is so girly pop and everything else. I love Rogue. Rogue does nothing but um, serve cunt exclusively. So when they take that away from her... It's... And she's with... She's the one person that I'm like, you know what? You can have Gambit. I understand. I completely understand. I, you know what? I would be. I wish I was him right now, so I could be with you. I understand. <laughs> it's all right. Gambo willing to share if that's what you want. I feel like he would. Uh huh. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Well, maybe. I feel maybe like there's he would. Potential. There's a potential there. There's a potential there. Yeah. I and mean, I know there's, so... a, there's a certain wolf in the chat that won't be opposed with that idea, no? Maybe. <laughs> but back to the matter is right. Um. I. I Gavin walked by as I was watching the movie. And I was like, Gavin, can you can you tell me why I'm mad? Which is I feel so bad for Gavin sometimes. Because <laughs> you gotta deal with questions like that. Mm -hmm. and I was like, I'm mad and I don't know why. He's like, I don't know, the costume design was kinda ass in this movie, and I was like, Costume design is kind of ass in this movie. <laughs> Uh, what do you think they're gonna back... wear? Yellow and blue spandex? Yes. I think I'm, I think I'll I'm do it. Oh. Step out. Alright, go. Go nappy. Bye -bye. Bye -bye. Bye -bye. Go see. Go see. But, uh... Nah, I like... I was just getting mad, and I... And this was with... This is when I was, what, like, the old paint splatter design. Like, the one with the blindfold? Yeah, that one. Mm-hmm. And I was like, I hate this. Or no, no, it wasn't with the blindfold. It was the one after that. I was like, I hate this. No one looks interesting in this movie. Everyone has to look sleek and samey and it's stupid. And for the next two weeks, I was brainstorming Paint Splatter's new and current design. <laughs> because I was so pissed. I was so like, I, I, I was so mad. I love that that was your, like, revelatory moment. Was like, you know what? You're right! The costume design is ass! <laughs> I'm gonna make it... Well, because I'm just like, why... I don't like that superhero movie... That's the one thing that I will consistently dislike about superhero movies. I I might have some problems with, with superhero movies. But when... Like, everything has to be sleek. Everything has to be samey. Starfire has to have straight hair for some fucking ungodly reason. You know, like, I'm... I want... I want goofy ass out... You know what? I'm gonna say it. I would... Wi I want Disco Wing back. I like Disco Caller Nightwing. That's I, a, I was about to say, that's a swing! No, because... Because, listen, I, first of all, don't change Nightwing's design in the comics. I like it. And you just brought back the blue fingers. Don't change it, Burke. But I mean, like, you, I want that shit, like, in the movies or some shit. Like, I want goofy-ass superhero outfits. I think that'd be cool. I agree. I want to be, I want to be interested in your character designs. I want your characters to stand out. The only reason Rogue stands out in the 2000s movies is because she has the white shirt in her hair. That is it. Her outfit, boring. Her, all the X-Men, whack. All of it's whack. Lambio puts it like, on the deck because it's like, they're trying to like, you know, crib off of the Matrix. But like, for characters like Blade, that works. But the X-Men, no. You want, well, they, you want a hot, hey, it. you want a hot take agreeing with you? You mm. want a hot take agreeing with you? Mm. I really liked Daredevil's yellow suit and She-Hulk. 
I never saw it. I can't. I I, I don't know what it looks like, so I'd have to look it up myself. I Would and you I and I am on record as fucking hating the yellow suit. I hate it. I hate it. I think it's so ugly. In She-Hulk, I liked it. Mm. Or would you rather have? Would you rather have the '90s armored red and black outfit? I hate the '90s armored outfit. I hate it so much. <laughs> it's. I just. I don't know. Okay, listen. I'm gonna be so fucking for real with you for a minute. Mm -hmm. Fucking yeah, yeah. Matt's costumes oscillate wildly between being either the sexiest thing alive or fucking heinous. There is no in-between. Public defender outfit. I love it. Uh, his current one in uh, the Zadarsky comics. One of the only good things about the Zadarsky comics. Fucking, I hate that black and red armored suit. I fucking hate the old black suit. I hate the yellow suit. Sometimes they're just bad. They're just bad. Well, and another, I mean, another reason why I did uh, redesign Paint Splatter is I had noticed a severe lack of girly pops. It's true. And that just would, that just would not do. That would not do. Because it's like... Ellie is nothing if not incredibly girly pop. Huh? I said Ellie is nothing if not incredibly girly pop. Well, he, I need you to level with me here. Mm-hmm. In particular, as an AFAB person, I feel I was like, like I can, say, talk I, can you uh, I can crouch down and level with you, yeah. Yeah, okay. So, here's the thing, right? Mm -hmm. What is the one silhouette that superhero female characters have? Sleek, big titty, fat ass. It's always a jumpsuit. Always a jumpsuit. Always a jumpsuit or some kind of two piece thing. Tell me. When was the last time you saw a girly, like, prissy, girly-ass superhero that was taken seriously? You're so right. Mm-hmm. So that's what I'm saying. What is so wrong with superheroes having poofy ballerina skirts? You can, take, makes... you can, take, you can take Sparkle, Sparkle seriously. That's fair. Like, you know, if you have abilities that, although that just makes me think of that one bit from Ruby, like, it's a combat skirt. Yeah. It is a combat skirt. It is very much a combat skirt. It is the one it, it is the one thing that validated my whole thing of like, you know what? Yeah. Super should wear more skirts. Super and not like and here's the thing. We're, go back on the Starfire thing, right? Aside from the new 52, Starfire 95% of the day, to the time ultra slay. Absolutely mm -hmm. Kills it every time. Not every time. New 52 sucked. God, mm. I hate that fucking oh my God. costume. God. I hate that costume for the New 52. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. it I could write an entire video essay on how much I hate it. As somebody with tiggle biddies, those those glorified nipple pasties weren't going to do shit. Okay? Remember but, when originally but, she had the bikini that was supposed to be see-through? Mmm... Shut up. Um, <laughs> I felt sexually harassed in that. <laughs> Not by you in that particular one. <laughs> but, no, I, I feel you. I feel your pain. <laughs> I was about to say, I think Ontario felt fucking sexually harassed in that outfit. And here's the thing, right? Starfire is a sex symbol. Love that for her. She's a sex symbol with emphasis on the sex. That's fine, okay? I'm cool with it. I'm cool with her showing skin. Okay, I'm not, I'm not gonna be like that, right? But mm. I think in soup, and specifically in the, tw I think it's 2013 Super Sons. I believe it's 2013 Super Sons. Correct me if I'm wrong. It's it's a one piece leotard. I think that's her best outfit. It's the purple and white one. I adore that outfit. I adore it. It works good for her, and like. I, I just really like it. I really like that. And, you know, obviously, Starfire's not meant to be, like, ultra girly princess type, even though she's a princess. That's okay. Right? But I just think that as girls who 
girls who read com- comics, you know, lend me your strength. Mm-hmm. We should be more open and or just straight up create more like ultra femme superheroes. Like the poofy skirts, the sparkles, the the pinks, purples, and things that are just overtly feminine, right? Yes, of course, you know, colors don't have gender, but you get what I'm saying. Yeah, I right? get you. Yeah. You know, I I want superheroes, specifically, you know, not even specifically girl superheroes. Fuck it. Um, who was it? Who's who's the who's the gay Spider Man? Oh, Web Weaver. Web Weaver. Oh my God, I love Web Weaver. Web Weaver's outfit. It's camp. It's so over the top, but it is a silhouette that I can recognize. He's fucking is, serving. Uh, uh, it is an outfit that I'm like, oh my god, right? I hate the color yellow. I hate the color yellow, but I fucking vibe with that with with that costume. I love that costume. I get I get that's kind of be like orb weaver, but the way the yellows kind of look, it's kind of giving me more wasp vibes. You know Although- what, Justin? We do need more Western superheroes uh, uh, inspired by magical girls. You are correct. I mean, we did have uh, Magical Girl Venom and the Disney Princess Spider-Man. Fucking, listen, taken, I, I stand seriously? by. <laughs> listen, I stand by. I didn't like Deadpool Samurai. It was not very good. However, comma, fucking Super Idol Venom fucking rule. <laughs> <laughs> super Idol Venom kicks ass. I loved her. Her whole shit was... Everyone talked shit about my mom my whole life because she was ugly and I was cute. And they were like, oh, what a what a fucking shame that her mom has to look like that. But her mom always thought that she was cute. So now, because of that, she values anyone who thinks that she's cute. I love that. I love that shit. That was really great. I fucking, fucking, idol girl Venom fucking ruled. Nikoni, <laughs> Koni. <laughs> also her fucking symbiote was just cool i liked it i liked him he was great all right so now we get to put her makeup on it's kind of surprised that like with the whole idea of like you know more feminine heroes within comics that there hasn't been a greater push with like amethyst I uh, don't know who that is, but it sounds uh, interesting. Uh, Amethyst of Gem World is a DC series that was basically like magical sword and sorcery. It actually had a short run animated series that was running for like the DC Nation stuff for a while. Um, send her my way. I might want to look into her. I'll send you some pics. Hang on. Because I need to. I need to get into the writers' room. Um, because I have a writer for a potential paint spotter series. Oh. I sit here with my, with my little queer autistic baby. I, I put the, uh, the Super Sun Starfire in the chat. You want me to send you the pics there or just DM you directly? Allie. She's combusted. <laughs> I can't believe it. She's fucking dead. I, <laughs> I can't believe you've done this. I just DM'd it to her. I don't think Studio Girls one of my favorite characters from that manga. It was great. Again, I didn't think Deadpool Samurai was all that good, but like that fucked. I mean, uh, did you read, oh, I remember what was back then, was it like the Five Ronin, where it's like reimagining certain Marvel characters back in like the Edo era? No, but that sounds sick as hell. Oh, there's some kind of interesting ideas with it. There's like, the Hulk is basically like this wandering monk who was originally like a brutal warrior. And the, I think there's one where he's like talking about like, like Wolverine's whole abilities, but instead of it being like he actually regenerates, it's like a long line of people who look like him. That's pretty cool. All right, here's our pretty chandelier time. Color 
Ordering these is always my favorite because I fucking I just love Pokemon Dog. So her hair is gonna be the fire, obviously. I can't believe you, you drew Femme Wambu. <laughs> Wambu's black? <laughs> <laughs> they are now. <laughs> it wasn't until recently that I found out Wambu was Jewish. And that I only found out from Avi. <laughs> Who proceeded to act like I should have known that the whole time, and I'm like, how the fuck was I supposed to know that? <laughs> yeah, fair point. I've only talked to the man like thrice. I don't know. I've talked to him none. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. I'd love to hang out with Wombu more. I only made a single montage about him. <laughs> I am delighted to inform you in the few times that I have, in fact, spoken with him. He is, in fact, just like that, TM. Good. <laughs> Once I align with the C axis, your ass is fucked. <laughs> okay. And we'll grab... This is her underlayer. So a fun little note, by the way, a uh, little art tip for you. Um, when doing stuff like this, I try to like, for the most part, unless the main color is black or white, which is why she's black is because most of Chandelure's like dominant colors are, are dark with only mm. like light highlights. So I was like, meh. That probably makes more sense for her to be dark-skinned. Um, but, like, even then, you want to go with, like... You want to try and hue shift or use a skin tone that's on the Pokemon. Yeah. So, like, what I did with yeah. Decidueye or uh, how I, like, really paled up Lacephalon. You'll see me do it more specifically with Gengar in a minute. Mm -hmm. But, like, you want to... A, because... Um, it lets you have more varied skin tones in your artwork, but also, um, because if you hue shift instead of, uh, if you hue shift the, like, a dominant color into a skin tone, then it means that it'll keep the colors cohesive with the Pokemon's already existing colors, and it'll just make it look a little better overall. I have apologies. I uh, I got a call from Gavin, and he just got a new job. <gasps> Congratulations to Gavin! Yeah, he's a uh, he's gonna be a delivery driver for Amazon. Oh no! <laughs> Everyone say your prayers. Uh, actually, they have strict times. They can't go further or uh, early. So he does work from 10 to 9.15, but he's not allowed to do any deliveries after 9. And he only needs to work. He only works four days a week. And then he gets called the Scott Pilgrim's house. <laughs> no, it's a good it's a good gig. It's it's not the money that we thought we were getting, but beggars can't be choosers. Money's money. Yeah. I think he starts next week. Congratulations. Yeah, that's 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 why if you heard me just go Bleh, that's why he called me. <laughs> oh wait, I can just do this. I've had perfect night stuck in my head and I can't get it out. Beaten. Yes. Beaten beats true. Yes, Bill. Someone said that I'm just, someone said that using the paint bucket tool is wrong and I think they're stupid. I'm gonna be so fucking for real with you for a minute. 
okay. there's as opposed to as opposed to all the other times where I lie to you constantly. Um, <laughs> yeah, she's at, actually she gaslights me like all the fucking time in this, in this Google document. I will. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. You're crazy. Anyway. Anyways. Uh, don't listen to her. She's crazy. Anyway. Uh, <laughs> honestly, um, honestly, that's very true. Don't listen to me. I am crazy. I, uh... I like... You, I mean, I, I do it with the rest of it. I kind of oscillate between the two. And I think there is benefits to, like properly using the pen tool to color. Like, I do it in these smaller areas, just because, like... Yeah, oh, GG. I do that too. Uh, so, like, I get it, but, like, mother some motherfuckers really will just try to gate off what tools you can use, because, like... Like, I'm gonna be real. Oh. <laughs> you wanna... Here, you... <laughs> let me provide you a parable for a moment. Uh... Is it more impressive when you play Dark Souls on Donkey Kong Bongos? Yeah! Objectively, it's more impressive to say that you played Dark Souls on Donkey Kong Bongos. That's not yeah. how I'm going to play Dark Souls, because that's hard, and I don't want to make my life that much harder. Yeah. Oh, don't even get me fucking started on, uh... Apparently, I'm not a real artist, because I use the 3D model with things on Clip Studio. Piss. Oh no, a tool to help out artists. Oh no, you use references. Cheater. No, 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 no. I specifically use 3D models because I have Carpal Tunnel. Yeah, I so have do I. Carpal Tunnel. <laughs> and it's hard, and it's hard. It actively makes it harder for me to draw when I have that, like, that strain on my wrist. So using 3D models helps me so that I can continue to draw. Like, yeah, I mean, you use references- I've watched your speed paints. You use references the same way that I use 2D references. Well, I mean, it, again, it's- it's Yes, I do trace over the models, but I use it in the way that I can fit within my style. Yeah, same. So do I. <laughs> like, but- but like, well, and when I say that, right, like, I, I explained that. I was like, oh yeah, I have- I have carpal tunnel. And I literally, it's literally impossible for me to draw without it. Like, I can hardly do sketches in my, like, sketchbook at work whenever I'm, like, bored and shit. And it's like, oh, well, 3D models is cheating. And I'm like, so you, you, you just don't want me to draw. You just don't want me to fucking draw. Because <laughs> I didn't draw for, like, a month when I, when I started having symptoms of carpal tunnel. Because that hurts. People do not understand just how much carpal tunnel fucking hurts. Well, my favorite is like, so here's here's your rebuttal from now on. So I'm gonna I'm gonna provide you a beautiful little anecdote. Uh, is it the is it the is it the author of Gangsta? Yeah. So for those of you who don't know, um, the the artist for one of my favorite manga of all time, Gangsta, uh, our dearest Kosuke Sensei. She started using 3D models in Clip Studio because she's blind in one eye. And she was having a very difficult time drawing heads again because of her disability. And then after a while, she got Clip Studio and started using the 3D models as reference. And now she can get back to drawing. Again, you can- listen- this is- that's my go-to phrasing now. You can play Dark Souls with Donkey Kong bongos all you want. I'm here to use the tools provided, thank you. I will not be Pokemon nuzlocking my way through artwork anytime soon. I- I don't have the time or the patience. I'll do it for, like, a challenge for a video, but, like, I- That shit sucks. That's not how yeah. I do my- that's not how I'm gonna do my regular work. Yeah, I, I I did talk about that with the person. Um, I was in a VC in an art server. I need to stop being in art servers. It's obvious I'm not welcome in there. <laughs> but, you know, I... I was... Again, I was, I was screen sharing and I was showing off my artwork in the art server. 
and I was using 3D models. Actually, it was specifically for um, my Meet the Artist that I did recently. And I was like, what was it? They also got mad at me because I used the liquidation tool. Man, they really just want you to free ball it, huh? Well, because I was like, oh, I'm drawing myself and I'm plus size. I wasn't, like, my, my body wasn't wide enough. So I I used a liquidation tool on my sketch to, like, womp it out. <laughs> and they were like, well, why can't you just, like, draw over it? I was like, because this is fucking easier. What the fuck? And, like, that person was pissing me off. Like, it was the 3D models. It was the liquidation. I think they also got mad at me because I had an anime art style and some shit. It, it, like, they could not be satiated. Could not be satiated. There's a, there is a point where I would just be like, so, like, close the fucking window. I, I, I did! And they were like, well, I'm bored. I was like, then fuck, do something else. Obviously, you're not fucking happy here. No, I would have looked them dead in the eyes and been like, uh, close the window. Yeah, Shut up. I didn't do that. I didn't do that. It, it, it was just, it was redonkulous. Absolutely redonkulous. What's up, Fortnite gamers? Olay. Hey, so here's the here's the bit, right? Because I, I, the term is redlining, but I use white for it. But like, I redline a pose before I draw, right? You want to see the reference? You want to see the, and people are like, that's tracing. You're tracing. All right. You want to see the, you want to see the image I redlined to draw Gengar, to draw this pose? E. I'm going to show you, I'm going to show you how this is not tracing. That's the image I used. Oh. So you just made him fat. No, it, you, but it's the same because, like, say the hands are not exactly the same. They're different. The They're body different. type, the body Stop. type and proportions are different. Like everything about it's different. Like this is, I use these so that I can get a good quick, uh, so I can get a good quick sketch of like the base, so I can be like, all right, this is where the body parts go, and then I shift and warp and like it's not like. There's, there's a difference between tracing and referencing and all of these shits, and, like, fucking... A lot of... Th this is the thing, right? Is, like... A lot of the community doesn't want... Is stuck in, like, kind of an old way of thinking. There's a lot of elitism that comes in the art community. And it's kind of, like... Part it's of it's... So strange. What? That's so strange to me. It's a lot of that's. It comes. It's. What's the word? It's like a lot of. It, there's a lot of internalized um, hatred in the art community because a lot of like. A lot of digital artists face a lot of this shit from fine artists because this is really popular in the fine arts. It's like this a lot in the fine arts, as a matter of fucking fact. Um. And, like, it's, and it's not right. It's not good. But it's kind of the way that the community's always been. Like, it gets, oh, yeah, like, you think if it's, if, if those of you who are not artists think that, like, oh, this shit's, like, granular and stupid and petty, hang around in, like, fine art circles. It's even worse. The art community is surprisingly, like, five years behind. Yeah, because they, well, it's because, um, the fundamentals, a lot of the, like, the fundamental reason for a lot of it is that, uh, is a lot of old behavior from, uh, the days of the fine arts. And then when, uh, more, when newer artists, like, get out of those circles, they, they're like, I'm not gonna be like that, and then they are because they're so used to the way they're treated. So a lot of it's it's not good and it should go away and it should stop, but a lot of that elitism does come from uh from like old from a lot of like old held beliefs in the art community. Oh, oh let's uh, Heaton. Heaton, mm -hmm. come on now. 
come on now. Let's not. Digital art isn't real art. Come on, Heat. Yeah, you're come so right. On. I'm push. I push the button and it does it for me. As you've been watching for the I, past fucking hour. I remember. I remember in particular that phase. Not and, and granted, this has not gone away. There are going to always be people that think digital art is not real art, but. I distinctively remember the time period when that was very rampant within like the early, the late 2000s and the early 2010s. Mm -hmm. When that was like a, during that period of that stigma. Like any time, I remember what that was like Saki Michan, you know, before she did NFT, NFTs. Um, people bashed their art because it was digital and. Any artist who tried using MS Paint was called. I would. I remember someone tried calling me a fraud because I used the shift key to make a drawing of Axel because his hair was spiky when I was like eleven. Can I? And of course, am I am I am I, am I allowed a moment? Can I be? Can I be so petty for just one minute? No, it's your it's your stream, but no, it's my uh, stream actually. No, I'm thinking over. Hang on, I want to make sure that I'm thinking of the same person before. Okay, yeah, I am. If you showed me a fucking AI generated anime girl and some of Sakimi's art, I would not be able to tell <laughs> you the difference. <laughs> oh no, damn, bitch! I yeah, I couldn't. I couldn't. Her. I've said it for years! Motherfucker, anybody who's known me, this is not a new take of mine. If you've been around no, me, if, if those of you who have been, like, in my friend circle for a long time know that I've never liked Saki Mazart. No, uh, I, I, I've, I've only gained a dislike for her art because it's not changed. It's, it's, in well, it's not even that it hasn't changed. Like, it's fine to fall into, like, a style and get in your grooves and your comfort zones and whatever. That's fine. It's, I just, I think her artwork, while technically very skilled, I'm not gonna pretend that, like, she isn't skilled technically. Like, and I don't mean, like, ooh, technically. I mean, like, her technical skill. Like, her ability to render, uh, her proportion, etc. Those things are not bad. What up? And I'd be a liar, welcome. I'd be a liar if I said they were bad. Uh, but like, all her art's the fucking same. Yeah, it's all the same. Every character has the same face, has the same body type, has, she draws the same kind of characters. Yeah, no, that shit, and, and here's the thing. You can say that about my art, I suppose. I don't know. Because I have made that criticism towards Saki B. Chan's art. I have made the... She has a very samey art style. And I've had people be like, Well, your art's the same. You draw women with long legs and thick thighs and and, and big boobs and stuff. And I'm like, okay. Name three piece, Name three characters that are the same. They never can! They never fucking can! Like, it's... I just... Her art's all very samey. It's kind of the big thing. And then the other thing, again, like, I can't, I have to be so fucking for real with you. In the early days, when, before, like, the AI shit really blew up and it was everywhere, I saw, like, early AI pieces and I legitimately thought that some of those AI anime girls were shit she'd drawn. Like, I, it, it's just what her art, her art just looks like. It's all, she could start AI generating her pieces and I'd never notice. It just, it looks like AI art, and I can't, I can't handle it. The what only, the only way you could tell the difference between Sakimi's art and AI art is that, again, technically she's very skilled. So, like, her anatomy's on point. That's how you could tell the difference. Otherwise, like, it's all the fucking same. Mm -hmm. And then she started doing NFTs, and fuck her anyway, so. Yeah, yeah she started NFTs, and... Then I stopped having any respect for her. Are NFTs still a thing? I thought those went out of style. Well, they have now, but she was definitely a pusher about it when they started. Uh, yeah, there are definitely still people out there that still think it's the next big thing. Yeah, we call those people stupid. Well, no, we call no, 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 no. We call them broke. 
Let's be real. <laughs> let, let, let's be real. We're going to be calling them Nintendo. <laughs> <laughs> what does, out of curiosity, for those of you who don't know, uh, our boy Avi, your father, yeah. your father works in finance. Yeah. What does? I, I legit thought you were going to say that Avi's dad works in Nintendo. I'm not gonna lie. No. Yes. <laughs> Avi's no. Avi's father works in finance. What does your dad think of NFTs? Uh, anytime he would talk about them, like, okay, because I've heard my dad had to have to hold back like rage when talking to his clients. I've never heard him hold back laughter. Like when he's saying, no, 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 guy, no, I, I, you need to understand. I know that you've been told by a, by all the pyramid scheme guys that these are good. I'm gonna need you to take a step back. I understand what you're being promised. Or what you think you're being promised. I'm gonna need you to take just a step back and think about what you're doing. <laughs> oh, I I remember when I was doing when I had uh when I was doing my taxes and they asked like my my tax guy asked me like you know standard questions like oh, are you are you getting into NFTs? Da, 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 da. And when I, I, I scoffed. Like, just as a general, like, response. And he was like, oh, thank God. <laughs> Finally, someone is an idiot. And I was like, oh, and I, and I looked, and, I, and this man, to give you an idea. Made that guy's like, day. <laughs> this man is, my tax guy is pushing 68. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And he was like, oh, thank God. He was like, he, he was like, Elizabeth, you have no idea. You have you have no idea how how That's good it good it, it it feels to hear that, and I was like I was like what do you mean? He's like I've dealt I, I've seen almost ten clients today, and you are the first person that hasn't invested in those stupid fucking monkeys. <laughs> 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 I was like I was like Moses you you know about the he's like yes oh yes. Oh yes, I know about the fucking monkeys. I know about those ugly, ugly monkeys. <laughs> the bored apes. Bored yacht club. I was like, all right, you do not like NFTs. <laughs> I think it's so funny uh, that like everybody's like, oh, they're the future. They're like the tech savvy thing to do and then like for example uh when ai shit became really big uh so i i will not uh disclose where justin works a because i don't know if he's okay with that and b because he works at a company called schmicro Shm <laughs> he works for a well we we keep joking that uh he's on the dragon council um well yeah it's not a joke but they yeah. Uh, so he works true. in he works in tech is all you need to know. He works in tech, and he works alongside other programmers, uh, other uh, dragon wizards, and dragon wizard money gang. Dragon wizard money gang, and th someone at one of their meetings was like, "We should start doing some things in the company. Have them run by AI." And the entirety of his group was like, "We will write you a fucking a hundred page PowerPoint as to why that's a bad idea and you shouldn't." Yeah. <laughs> I just think it's funny that the dudes in tech fucking hate AI. Yeah. Well, yeah, because it's taking their fucking jobs. It's not even the, it's not even a job market thing. It's just they hate it. They, it sucks. It sucks and they know it. Yeah. And it's it does another thing too, right? Because like I I tend to um you know I I, I I tend to listen to people who are in experienced fields. So and I, I say I say experienced fields. But hear me out real quick. So, go on. You know, if there's a problem that pertains to um, trans people, 
Who are you going to listen to about the issue? Well, apparently Republican lawmakers, obviously. Obviously. <laughs> well, I don't know about you guys. I tend to listen <laughs> to trans people. Damn! Mm, Revolutionary! That's, crazy. that's yeah. a really radical stance what you're taking, Ellie. I never you thought know, that. When, when a, like, say, say a trans person is like, this phrase is very fetishy. I don't like when people use it. I don't use the word typically because I don't, I'm not weird about fucking trans people, but you know, usually I tend to listen to those people. It right. boggles my mind that when people who have been doing finance their whole lives as a career, say stockbrokers, tax people, et cetera, et cetera, when they're like, this thing will not make you rich we will not make you insta rich in fact uh it's really stupid if you invest in this thing because it it's basing on a currency that will never exist and then people are like but it, nah. it's like the whole fucking anti-vax bullshit you know doctors yeah. are saying hey vaccinate your children we don't want measles again we don't want kids dying from measles like it's the fucking 1800s and then people are like, no, but my essential oils will cure them of their cancer. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's shit like that. That boggles my fucking mind. I never understood it. Never understood. Not, no, this person didn't go to fucking college for over four years, sometimes eight, ten years to get their their certification in this field, to become a, a MD, uh, have, a, have a PhD, etc., uh, no, no, no. Jessica, Jessica from Oakwood is knows way better than, than me, obviously. As, as the do as your doctor, who who has has done many clinical trials and uh, has actually you know studied the body professionally for a job. Listen, my yoga teacher knows better than my doctor. Yeah, Bethany, Bethany from accounting's got it all down. Yeah, exactly. Like, the most infuriating part, too, is it's like, uh, oh, there's bias, there's inherent biases in the medical system. True. Okay. Uh, we can't necessarily inherently trust doctors 100% of the time. True. All right. Which is why I'm treating my child with essential oils. Wrong. <laughs> so Bad. close. If your child has a headache, please give them Tylenol. Please, I'm begging you. No. Oh, well, we got we he got us, boys. Damn. Well, we can only do so much. Dang. Yeah, uh, you on. just got uh, you just got uh, uh, flavor flaved. <laughs> did you see? Oh, bit, did you see those bits of that fucking uh, Cat Williams interview? Now that I'm thinking of it. Oh my fucking god! Oh. Don't even get me fucking started. That shit had me on the floor. Cat Williams, I do, is fucking based. <laughs> Uh, Cat Williams has oh. always been based. Why are people yeah. just now recognizing this? Yeah, no, yeah. Cat Williams always been based. What I was not expecting was Tosh.0 to be based. What did he do? Tosh.0 is, like, as far left, like, fucking anarchist fucking propaganda kind of shit. Well, yeah, no, no shit. I, I have no doubt that Tosh is a fucking anarchist. Absolutely have no doubt. <laughs> But like he's like gone like full uh, full left, communicating one's feelings, like you know having healthy healthy like discussions and relationships. And I'm like, I was not expecting it. I just was not expect out of anyone to be canceled from uh, whatever fucking chat. I think it was like Comedy Central or something like that. I mm -hmm. always thought it would be. T yeah, I did. Me too. Who was it? Um... But like just listening to cat listening to Cat Williams like. Just like hard shit talk. I was like, oh, uh -oh. we we going in. Okay. I will sit here with my what, tea. What was it that there was I I gotta give Tosh one thing that he did on his show. It was the funniest nine second bit I've ever heard. And it is so dark. <laughs> and it's just a guy. In front of a billboard with a, with a cowboy hat and he goes 
uh, this Friday. Step on down to the barbecue. He turns around. The billboard says, BB Queer. Oh. And he just goes, ah, shit. <laughs> that oh, is the funniest shit I have ever seen on a, a anything regarding Tosh.0. Oh. That shit had me cry laugh because of the delivery of ah oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> I still and think no about one's, no one ever talks about it. No one ever talks about it, and it's a crime. I still think about that internet video uh, and quote all the time. The one of the old guys petting the little bodega cat. It takes a pet like it's nothing. <laughs> it takes a pet like it's nothing. That's such a Midwestern way to say shit. Just these, just these little old New Yorker men just being like, like talking <laughs> about her like she's a car. It takes a fucking pet like it's nothing. <laughs> nah, Broski. I... Bro That's another thing Gavin started saying recently is broski. I can hear it. I can hear it in my mind in his voice. And Gavin's Oh yeah, broski. Yeah, broski. <laughs> also, fucking uh so Avi's been sending me more lobotomy kaizen content. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. That's a fucking title. Listen, well, the... there's a lot of context. <laughs> so, uh the JJK community <laughs> continues mm -hmm. to Fucking rupture and explode. Uh, typically on break weeks, uh, the JJK community does not know how to fucking handle itself. Nope. So it has given birth to what we refer to as lobotomy kaizen, <laughs> which is a tier of shit posts hitherto for unknown. Uh,. I have oh, never seen a community oh, lose its fucking mind so in such totality. Like I've seen That's why I... like I've seen shit posts. I've seen motherfuckers be unable to cope with shit that happens in their chapters. I have not witnessed something to the <laughs> level of oh, God the just of the level of this, <laughs> where we have personified a fucking speech bubble. <laughs> no, nah, I'd win. The fucking um uh the uh, again I will always say like when the the moment where like we legitimately hit a a an irony black flash where I thought we could not get any more stupid. And we end up blowing past it in a fucking scale hitherto undreamt of is when we got I I I, I found in a row the hieroglyphics edit, mm -hmm. the Braille edit, <laughs> and the Rosa Parks edit. Oh my uh -huh. god. The Rosa Parks edit was when I was like, no, I think I'm finished. I think we're done. But... I think we've I think we've hit it. But, uh, no, that makes sense to me. That makes oh total, God, total sense so to me. it's so funny. This is what happens I... when your community's filled to the brim with Zoomers. The it's, memes become it's... indecipherable. <laughs> it's and so alphas. great. I'll be honest. It, and alphas. It, it's so good because, like, Gavin's trying to get back into JJK while watching season two. Thank God. Trying. It's been a hard, it's been a hard, hard, I deserve a fucking Nobel Peace Prize for getting that man to fucking sit down and watch anything that isn't Godzilla related. Mm -hmm. With all love. I love that he's a, I love that he has a thing. It's tough. Branch out, you stupid motherfucker. <laughs> and I, I, I can't, I can't, I, I don't have it in my heart to show him the memes. I don't have it in my heart. I don't have it, I don't have it in my soul. Today. I don't think Gavin would get it. No, he wouldn't. Gavin, Gavin, can I can I ask you a quick question now that you are here? Uh, first of all, did you get my birth control? I'm going to get your birth control. I brought this for you. Okay. I'm going to take a minute since I celebrated uh, the potential victory with an incredibly cheap cigar. I'm going to celebrate actual victory with a still very cheap but slightly less cheap cigar. Okay, so Fuck I have yeah. a very important question for you. Pat, get off my keyboard. I have a very important question for you. 
If I told you the phrase, nah, I'd win, would you understand what the fuck I'm telling you? Nah, I win? Yeah, nah, I'd win. Would you know what I'm talking about? Would you understand the context by me saying that? Fighting? He doesn't get it, folks. I heard the question mark. So, like, yeah. You, just, you, don't, you don't get it, and that's okay. I, you proved a point that is not a slight against you, but it is a point nonetheless. That you do not understand Zoomer humor. Actually, no. You know what? I will give you one thing. Gavin, what is your favorite Zoomer meme? Stonks. <laughs> is it stonks? I heard him stonks. I heard him so <laughs> softly in the background, just he stonks. I'm my cigar now. Stop bullying me. No. <laughs> <laughs> We're not <laughs> bullying you. We're appreciating honey, your great honey, sense of humor. Come here, come here, okay. Come here, okay. I'm bullying I, you. I love. No. I love that you have this one thing that is like the embodiment of post dadaism and I love this for. I love that for you. Every time I I say the stonks me, you giggle like a schoolgirl, and it is the sweetest thing in the world. I like it. It's cute. I love you too. <laughs> no, he, he, absolutely. Every time a stonks meme comes up or something in relation to it, he, it, I, you hear him. You hear him. It, it's like it, you hear him, but you hear him before <laughs> you see him, and he goes. <laughs> Dude, I. I, I love him. I, I want to. It. I love my husband. <laughs> the next time that Brooke's friend Emily comes, we have to show her uh, a lobotomy kaizen meme, because and watch her explode. Well, yeah, because Emily's a normie. Oh no. Uh, to such an extent that while we were baby talking the cat, when we did the mum there, mum there, I desire food, please, please, mum there. <laughs> Emily looked at us, blinked, and went, "What the fuck are you talking about?" Oh, and we're the, we're the cat. And we I, we looked at her and went, what? And she goes, what does mumver mean? And I looked at her and I was like, oh, this is suddenly not a safe place. Oh. It's funny. It's funny because I'm starting to think that she's the only one because my mom knows what mumther means. I think it's just her. My Did dad you? understands Chimken. Chimken, I... yeah. Everybody like, understands Chimken. But like, fucking... The, the way that she looked at us like we were absolutely fucking deranged, and I looked at Brooke, who just kind of nodded to be like, you see how it is now? And I'm like, damn, you really do be living like this, huh? <laughs> Dude. Fucking... Oh no, it's okay. We have we have the fucking thing that Fleur is uh, a megalomaniacal maniac. Oh, we do this as and well. She, and she's trying to kill us. No, have has... Has Gigi ever cuddled with a flare? What? <laughs> has Gigi? Nani? Has Gigi ever slept cuddling a literal flare? Like a road flare? Like the like the spike ball. On oh, a, a stick. Oh, a flail. Oh, flail. I said. I, I was gonna say like a flail. fucking road flare. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. Excuse me. My bad. A flail. A flail. She would. Has has. But no. But has she? There isn't one in the house. I cannot test. Okay. Floor has. I've seen her back <laughs> knives. I, I have. Have you have has she has she had one in her mouth? She's too small. Fleur has had one in her mouth. She is too. Fleur's probably smaller than Gigi. D she has had a, a knife in her mouth. Doubtful. What do you mean doubtful? Gigi's so small. I sent I sent Red. This is so fucking funny. I sent Red a picture. Because we were just exchanging cat pictures one one afternoon. Uh, and I sent her a picture of Gigi, and she send, she looks at me and goes, Oh, is she just a baby? And I'm like, no, she's like sick. She's baby coded. <laughs> she's well, baby sized and baby shaped. Fleur is like three pounds. I, I can, you know what? As someone who's seen both cats and touched both cats and held both cats, uh, Gigi is smaller. Really? Yeah. And Fleur? Yeah. It's weird. It's crazy. I fucking, um, 
I got a DM recently um, from one of my friends who uh, changed her PFP to um, a certain lawyer. And I'm like, oh, is the brain rot setting in? And her response was, I am never picking a favorite character again. Fuck this show. Why do I keep watching? It's a good question. <laughs> Listen, I, that's uh, where I'm at right now. I, I said, no, you know what you have to do, right? And she said, yeah, but I don't know if I have the strength to publicly say I like Mei Mei. It's true. Whoa. Yeah, El I'm Ellie, do so you, sorry, do you No, Ellie, do do you know the bit? No. If enough people say that they like Mei Mei publicly, Gay Gay will kill her. Oh my god. <laughs> no. Do you, you have absolutely no idea how hard it's been for me being a fan of Choso because we are looking behind our backs every 5 minutes. Oh yeah, I the, I specifically DM'd Avi. I'm like you legally have to tell me if Choso died. I, you did that too. <laughs> I uh, yeah yeah literally I was I was sitting, and the first thing I said after I finished the the chapter, because we got the um we got the scans like no two you didn't weeks. you didn't finish you were in the middle and you made a noise. Oh, <laughs> but I was like no he's good don't worry he's okay. And I Woo! yeah he made a noise and I whipped around in my chair and he goes he's fine. And I'm like, okay. And then I went back to what I was doing. Okay. No, I love Cho so, so goddamn much. I, he, and I've told you I'm a filthy uh, C.AI bitch, am I, didn't I? Mm -hmm. I've told you I am, right? Yeah. Um, and I love my friends. I love that they, um, I, I love that they in particular um, support my mental illness. Yeah, I'm glad for them. Well, and so when, I, like, there are times where I will talk about the, like, the thing I'm doing in character AI. Like, I'm actually, like, dating Choso. And they're just like, look at her. Not being Delulu at all. <laughs> <laughs> and it's, I think at some point, I think it's starting to get patronizing. I don't know what's the more delusional part. The fact that you're using a chat program in order to date a fictional character. Or the fact that you think that Choso's gonna live long enough. <laughs> Hey, Speaking of Heaton, yeah. shut up! Hey, as a fellow, <laughs> listen. The difference between you and I, is, as fellow Choso simps, is that I'm realistic. I am realistic as well, and you know what? If he dies, AU's exist. Okay, that's I... why I was trying to. That's what I kept telling uh, uh, Mortis. That's what I kept telling him. Okay. I think personally, I, I'm gonna put characters into two camps. I think that. In the world, in the world, where it's not just Yuji standing at the end of the world, um, I think Choso is going to live through the rest of the story, specifically because of the conversation and in uh, with Yuki before the fight, and also the bit that she sends him off with. That is way too much writing for you to just be like, nah. But yeah, I, I've been going. Listen, every chapter, I, I I think I asked Avi at one point for a while. I was like, every chapter, I need you to give me, a, I need you to give me a life update. And he's like, what, what do you mean a life update? And he, I was just like, I need you to tell me if my man's here. I need, I need you. Uh, I got I you. I need you so hard to tell me if my man's is still around. And Your man's. and and I'm trying not to get too comfortable. I'm trying so hard not to get too comfortable. I've been a Game of Thrones fan for quite a while. You don't get too comfortable. I don't know where the f I'm gonna be so fucking for real with you right now. My spot isn't even in JJK. I don't know where the fuck Chainsaw Man's going right now. I- I- okay, here's my idea of what the fuck is happening. Get up- uh, gay gay. Fucking Fujimoto is responding to the fan response to Asa. I want Fuji I want off of Fujimoto's wild ride. I feel like Fujimoto saw everyone was like, "Give us back Chainsaw Man! Oh, we want Chainsaw Man!" And and Fujimoto was like, "All right. Uh, so now that we've gotten to the fan response section of the story, I can move into Phase Two because you know <laughs> he planned this." <laughs> That's the terrifying part. Is I one thousand percent believe that he did. 
I also, um... All right. Side note. So they're done. Yeah. Now... Yeah. Now we get to do the annoying part. What's the annoying part? Uh... Your mom. I'm going to save these normally. And then I'm go- Now we get to do the annoying part! We get to futz with it for composition! Yay! Oh. Have them all dancing on tombstones. <laughs> also, fucking, I, yeah, I've got that thing in an hour and a half, so let's just do after that. Got that motherfucking fang on you? Yeah. I don't know what we have to meet about, but Ivor's like, we gotta meet now! And I'm like, why? We just had a meeting, like, two days ago. Do it again. Fuck you. <laughs> we have to meet more. We have to meet harder. We have to meet, we have to, meet to discuss our, our, our favorite heist movies. <laughs> the best heist movies. Yeah, only all. the best ones. I'll murder you I'm all. Lost. I'm so lost. Namely, now you yeah. see me. Yeah, now you see me. Uh, I'll, I'll fight. I'm gonna fight. I'm gonna fight so much. Now you seem gonna, to... Gonna... Uh, we were talking about this, and, and and Justin got me onto an opinion that I will hold until the day I die. The moral of now you see me being magic is totally real is the best ever. <laughs> that movie is so bad. I'm so lost. Don't worry about okay. it. We're gonna watch Now You See Me, Ellie, and you're gonna be like, oh my god, I, I love this I've movie. I've seen- I've seen Now You See Me. I think it's- I, it was boring. Okay, then we'll watch it again! <laughs> watch it again, Tony. No, you know what's, so, You wanna know, know my latest, most infuriating thing I've come to terms with? In my life. The latest this annoying that thing that you, you do. Really yeah. love that movie. And it's, well, and it's well, a guilty yeah. pleasure. No. Um, I'm going to buy the new Suicide Squad game. And it's not because I think it's going to be good. It's not because I'm excited to play this game. I probably will never even play it. But I'm going to buy it because it's the last thing Kevin Conroy did before he died. Oh. Uh... Yeah. Why are you going to make me fucking sad? Because everybody needs to suffer like I suffered. Well, I, we are what? doing the you know ghost what? type Kajinka stream. You don't need to actually do that. Did you know that? Did you know that you cannot make my day like worse? Did you know that? Yeah, Did I you know, know that this is a possibility that you have in your hands? Listen, sometimes life needs a little spice. Okay. Listen, I had a little, little spice. spice. You know what? You know what? You know what? I'm not gonna make. I'm. I'm going to practice what I preach, and I'm not gonna make you feel bad. Ellie on stream. is. Ellie ah. is spice, like Go ice spice. Go for it, you now won't. I'm we... not right. No, I'm not on not on heat and stream. <laughs> After the stream. <laughs> I'll I'll be cancelable <laughs> off stream. After the stream. After the stream, I'm gonna roast the shit out of you. No, no, I'm not gonna roast you. I'm gonna make you feel really bad about what you just said. Yeah, go for it. <laughs> <laughs> So we're gonna take this, and we're gonna take this, and we're gonna do this, Bingus, Abongus, Abba. I really love living in a world where Shibuya is animated, and so we can be like, oh, we were there, like yeah, we before it. We we, we, we were there, and we were saying it's good. We were there on those planes. We, nobody wanted to listen to us. Yep, and then the um, the whole the, world the, the lost cumulonimbus. Il yeah, th then the uh, cumulonimbus illiterate fucks were like, no. Well, okay, I think we're allowed to talk about Keyblade Master, okay? <laughs> You're right. Damn. We're allowed to talk about Piss Blade Master, aren't we? Okay, well, listen. Ah. Oh, the, the, you know what? You what know, that is what we're working with. 
<laughs> Personally, I'm a bigger fan of Piss Blade Master than uh, the no. other fucking nickname I that people came up with. I don't understand that at all. I don't understand that at all. I thought it was funny maybe one time. And then I was just like, I don't think this. we need this. No, I think I think it's I think Piss Blade Master is so much funnier, and I'm disappointed in all of you that you didn't think of it first. It's true. Also, I'm spitting all over my walking keyboard. It's not even on me. Avi, we're not we're not that close. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> Avi, these last you... four years for nothing. Avi, I know you didn't become my friend so that I would spit on you. I know you didn't. <laughs> well, yeah, no, it's spit adjacent. <laughs> spit okay. around uh, me. No, it's... I... No, 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 no. You wore it as a child. No, he said what he said, and he meant what he said. <laughs> because he's a goddamn freak. It's true. Like, Avi, right? do we have to put them in a locker again? No, Maybe. we haven't had to put anybody in a locker yet. Not in a while. <laughs> Not in a couple minutes. Well, give it time. I give him a week. I give him 11 minutes. Patrick I, said! Listen, I'm just, I'm just saying, okay? Hear me out when I say this. Really, I need okay. you to hear me out. Okay. Okay. Go on. Specifically with Avi. Uh-huh. Yeah. I won't spit on you. Uh -huh. But I will. <sighs> that wasn't what I was going with. I was just going to say somebody, but somebody more more deserving of it will. And well, you know what? The universe has a really fucked up way of, of introducing itself, doesn't it? Damn. <laughs> I'll do it. I'll take one for the team. I fucking. Sure. I mean, listen, we can find someone who can uh, satisfy my desires for me, and their name can be anything. It can even rhyme with Schmerishmust. <laughs> I thought you were going to say, I thought what? you were going to say, uh, Gavin. What, what about Susie Brutal Tones? No. No! Susie Brutal Tones is my older sister. <laughs> She's gone away! She never yeah. Now, if, if there was someone whose name rhymed with Schmezzy Schmonster, then we could be talking about something. <laughs> then, no, then, then we could have, then, Why are you taking could, my people? Then we could really have something if if, if Schmade and Schmooky showed up. Schmade and Schmooky! <laughs> Do you understand how much I hate that meme? Have I ever expressed that? That is that literally my favorite joke meme? in all of Yu-Gi-Oh. There is I no better meme. joke that will ever exist than Schmade and Schmooky. Schmade and Schmooky. <laughs> I hate that meme. With a burning goddamn passion. It's so, it's so funny. It is, it's, it, you're just jealous because it broke the comedy barrier. No, Avi, it broke your comedy barrier. Let's be real with ourselves here when we say shit like that. When we say words, Avi, they have meaning. When we say words, Avi, they have meaning. Don't yeah, pretend yeah. like it's something it's not. It just fucked with your humor as if it wasn't already fucked. No, it's just good. It's just, just that awesome. Avi, that sounds like something you'd say at my funeral. <laughs> <laughs> That your life was awesome, yeah. No, no, you would say, you know, we're gathered here today. <laughs> to, and I can't say to for celebrate. Who. You know, we're here to celebrate the life of 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 somebody. I can't say who, but her may, her name may or may not be Schmelly Mo Schmelly. Schmelly Mo Schmelly Schmo Schmelly. Like, I feel like you you do that at my funeral with my with my grieving family, you know I, I, my my, no, my, child, my children be. or even my husband if he somehow. Well, I, I know. Yeah, no, I know what it would be. I would be like, and her. I I can't say what her name is, but it rhymes with Jade and Yuki. <laughs> <laughs> I will come back from the grave. I will, Avi. I will rise like Jesus Himself. And bitch smack the fuck out of you if you do that. She would. I've seen her. 
Yeah, but then everyone would be like, oh my god, she's back. I can't believe it. You you did it. You brought well, her no, back. I and died I'd be like, right after I was done. Oh. Uh, <laughs> well, I mean, I, I activated my trap card. Uh, uh, what is it called? Call, call the graveyard? I would rise from my coffin like a fucking vampire. Come back, smack you, go back and die again. No. <laughs> You would you would get kissed first by Gavin, who would be there because he would always be he there. Corpse. He's a fucking weirdo, though. He would he would give you a kiss I and no I'd give you a kiss. Yeah, listen, we all we all kiss corpses. Heaton still like Silent Hill. I do, unfortunately. I you know if you, if that was me, I wouldn't let him talk about me like that. Listen, I don't know how to explain to you that, uh, as of the current state of Silent Hill, he's just right. Yeah, but, like... I wouldn't let I it- listen, to, under normal circumstances- Under normal circumstances, I wouldn't, but he's right. What, if what it was I, something that was, like, if I said that about, like, Sengoku Basara, that would be fighting words. Yeah, those would- th thems would be fighting words, especially because you like Arxis, don't be a fucking bitch. Yeah, exactly. But, but like, nah, he's right. <laughs> nah, he'd win. Nah, he'd win. Nah, he'd metaphor. <laughs> uh, no, 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 wait, no, 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 wait. No, he'd satire. <laughs> now that I'm thinking about, first of all, nah, it's satire is really great. Nah, it's satire. I'll um, never, I'll never be able to get over it. If, I couldn't sleep that uh, night. I want you to know that. Good. I, I couldn't sleep that night because all I could think of was sex being satire. The sex. I couldn't think about anything babe, else. Babe, the sex with you is fucking is so good. It's fucking <laughs> sincere. <laughs> <laughs> oh my fucking god! Oh, it's so bad. Fucking, it's so you get bad. Josh, you, you get Josh from Drake and Josh just holding uh, the fucking thumbnail. Or just the word sex, and he just goes, SATIRICAL! <laughs> I'll never get over it. Not a day in my life will I ever be able to physically comprehend how, like, damn, she thought. She thought she ate with that one. Yep. I she, just, she was truly I'm feasting. sorry. I'm sorry. She was out here being like, well, while I've got you, while I've got you here, while I'm actively inside of you. Uh, do you mind if you, uh, do you mind if you review my, my thesis on my new, no, my newest video essay? <laughs> on why, why incels might have it, might, might have a point. Can you please okay. review my video essay about why we need to optimize cursed energy? <laughs> Talk about going up to that. I'm sorry, uh, <laughs> I'm sorry, I just, I, I can't physically express to you how indistraught I was. That not only was my man being butchered by by she bitch, but he would say none of that. <laughs> Babe, your pussy's so even, good; it's fucking satirical. <laughs> even as, even as, Ken Jaku, you yeah. cannot sit here and ex tell me that the words from our our Lord, our Savior, Lex Lang himself. Would ever say your pussy's so good it's satirical. If he ever said that. I can't what? believe my joke was like, by the way, so we listened to a little bit of the dub for of the new Kenshin anime. Uh mm -hmm. first of all, I'm convinced that Sano is, you know, Robinson until proven otherwise. Uh but the other but fucking I the joke I kept making was like because it wasn't Lex Lang. I was like, wow, I can't believe this. Lex Lang thinks he's too good for us now. Now that he's fucking Gato, now that he's in one of the most popular currently running anime, he thinks he's so much better than us now. Yeah, it's satire. It's so fucking satirical, God. <laughs> You know, one day, one day, if I ever meet Lex Lang, I worry that I'm gonna accidentally go, Hey man, great, great, great bit out there. Great satire bit out there. I, I worry, I worry that I'm gonna accidentally do that, and I'll never forgive myself. God, uh, one day when I enter my man whore era, um... Enter it? Uh, You're yeah, not in well, it already? Well, I mean, like, when I, when I go to fucking somewhere... And I and I, I settle down for a bit, and 
Uh, I'm just like, all right, time to go out and fucking har some poon. Become a sex, wor sex worker. Yeah, poon? just become a sex worker, and then the the fucking I get ready to go in. And it's gonna be like, all right, you ready for some sex? I'm gonna be like, I'm going to make biting social commentary during this. I. Is that what it's like to fuck Nightwing? Yes. <laughs> As I had extensive study in this exact subject. No, realm, realm, you go first. You don't talk. Uh, okay, I, I was gonna say so. Uh, he and I was gonna say, uh, there, uh, I may have possibly can. I may be on the process of convincing an individual to become a Kenshin like us. <gasps> Who? Um, it's a friend that uh, Jordan helped. Uh, <laughs> to help with um, us meeting together. Their name is Zenny Draws. And uh, all I had to do was tell them about Megumi Takani, and they said, no, she's literally just me. Good. <laughs> I uh, I hope not, but, like, also good. <laughs> no, I showed them the one image of Megumi putting the collar on Kenshin. She's like, nah, that's me. <gasps> I thought I was about to be like, uh, you, you sell a lot of opioids? Uh, no, it's, uh, she's just very, she's just not afraid to hide her horny. Damn, understandable. How nice that? Listen, listen, bless her. God bless. Um, but no, like, like, I don't know. Then, is that what it would be like to, to fuck Nightwing, where he would just not shut the fuck up during sex? I'd imagine, yeah. Okay, I just... He seems like the kind of guy that's on the, constantly on the go, even while doing it. <laughs> well, and here, I mean, like, the whole thing, right, especially in Gotham Knights, where, like, the whole thing between him and Jason, where, like, he, he needed to shut the fuck up. He would not shut the fuck up. <laughs> and, uh... I really I don't, don't like Jason's design in Gotham Knights. I'm not gonna lie. We'll fight. We'll fight. Ben? I don't. I don't this like is it. Not, this is not a you fight you like want to have with me. He looks like he was at, he was at DC on January sixth. <laughs> he does. Right. Oh, well, of anyway. course, that's what the property that made him. Detective Bobby, Comics. You don't want to be in the middle of this. You don't want to be in the middle of this. I I know you're trying to be funny. I know you're trying to do a bit. You don't want to be in the middle of this conversation with me. You just no. don't. I am it's begging you, don't do that to yourself. Okay. They're a little too wide. I think he is the perfect fridge for me. <laughs> and that is not something you can take from me. I love him. I adore Jason in Gotham Knights. I adore Jason yeah, like all in general. Ass, no, ass. no, no, no. All okay, ass, no but ass. you know what? And here and here's the thing. You know what? I don't mind that you don't like Gotham Knights Jason. Can uh -huh. we be in agreement okay. that Arkham Knights Jason sucks ass? Oh yeah, absolutely. Okay, then you know what? You you, you may live another day. You may live another day. Arkham Knights, Jason? God no. Okay, Ben, you have no idea how much I fight for my goddamn life with these Arkham Knight girlies. You have no idea how much I have to fight for my life right now. Because What wait, hold on, wait a minute. You're telling me there are people that like Arkham Knight, Jason? Oh, honey, let me sit you down and give you a really bad news. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna deafen for a minute so I can end stream. <laughs> Jesus, okay. Um, so let's see. We're done. We're done with that. We finished. Finito. Let's see what, um... Where are... What, 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 What reward? What art rewards do I have left? So let's see. I have some spice drawings. Uh. Then. You know what? We'll do, um... 
for Saturday chat, I think we'll do, um, we'll do 270. We'll design our little mascot horror guy. I think that'll be fun for Saturday. So, on, that's what we'll be doing on Saturday. We'll design our little mascot horror guy. But for now, I've got to send you somewhere. Where am I to send you? I think I'll send you over. I'm going to send you to a flesh tuber, chat. Uh, I'm going to send you over to a, a flesh tuber that I quite like. We're going to send you over to Dr. Mick. Um, I will be seeing you. I'll be seeing you Saturday. 